Item ID AEP PTSD J. Enclosure designation Noctis. Threat classification Mind 01. Adaptive enclosure protocols due to the nature of AEP PTSD J 1's manifestation. Not all patients of AEP PTSD J can be contained. However, ART Bravo 00 through Bravo 05 are to survey media and medical databases to ensure minimal publicized manifestations of AEP PTSD J 1. These squads are codenamed Armament Men. All people diagnosed with AEP PTSD J are to be treated with Begonthotufen to limit the symptoms of AEP PTSD J to not include a manifestation of AEP PTSD J 1. Description AEP PTSD J is an anomalous condition that is very similar to PTSD. Post traumatic stress disorder. AEP PTSD J has a plethora of symptoms which include an increased distribution of war stories, increased jadedness toward the younger generation, and manifestations of AEP PTSD J 1. These symptoms seem to appear almost instantaneously after the end of a significant battle or war. AEP PTSD J is commented by patients to be not that bad and not much of a problem. At the current time and for unknown reasons, AEP PTSD J patients consist only of American World War II veterans and ART personnel. Note many of the stories are found to be heavily exaggerated or untrue. AEP PTSD J 1 is a sapient spectral human skeleton of about 164.5 centimeters that weighs about 80.7 kilograms. AEP PTSD J 1 typically wears an American World War II uniform, yet can also be seen wearing casual wear and other forms of clothing. Manifestations of AEP PTSD J 1 tend to have separate personalities, the majority of which being 20 through 30 year old Caucasian males who joined the army. Manifestations of AEP PTSD J 1 tend to be rather relaxed and can often be found idling with their respective AEP PTSD J patient. All manifestations of AEP PTSD J 1 from World War II veterans have identified themselves with a name that can be found in the U.S. National Military Archives. This leads the association to suspect that all manifestations of AEP PTSD J 1 are linked with the fatalities of comrades of the patient. However, when questioned, AEP PTSD J 1 does not grasp the concept that they match the description of a US soldier that was terminated during World War II. The reason for this is currently unknown. AEP PTSD J 1 is bound to the physical limitations of a standard person and cannot phase through objects or fly, yet is capable of floating, similar to other ghost-like entities. AEP PTSD J 1 is capable of, yet does not require, both sleep and the consumption of sustenance, yet seems to gravitate toward alcoholic tendencies. Reasons given by manifestations of AEP PTSD J 1 for this interest include I deserve it. I served in a war. It's a good way to relax. And shut up. What do you know anyway? Interview log. Access interview PTSD J 01. Interview ART Private First Class. Individual agent code name Closed Uranus. Enlisted personnel rank 3 hereafter EP 03. Diagnosed with AEP PTSD J. Following the death of squad leader ART Lieutenant Colonel IAC Bad Sunburn Commissioned Officer Rank 5 Hereafter abbreviated to CO05 Forward ART Private First Class Was brought into sight Interview Room 05B Closed Uranus was interviewed by Dr. Rentz shortly after the manifestation of AEP PTSD J 1 that was later identified as Bad Sunburn CO05. Begin log. Dr. Rentz. Greetings, Agent. I heard that there was a fatality on your mission. Closed Uranus EP03. This is about the fucking skeleton over my shoulder, isn't it? Bad Sunburn CO05. 
Fucking racists. Just because I'm white doesn't make me a skeleton. Yes, this has to do with the skeleton over your shoulder, Agent. You realize that Agent is dead, correct? Fuck you. I'm not dead. I'm alive, kicking, and ready to party, Dr. Rents. Dude, you're dead. You got stabbed by AEP 74 times in the span of 5 seconds. You're fucking dead. Closed Uranus EP-03 proceeds to shiver from the memories of Bad Sunburn CO5's termination. Bad Sunburn CO5 proceeds to slap Closed Uranus EP-03. Stop being a bitch. Just finish the damn interview so we can go do anything else. I'm down for drinks if you are. We're going to have to place you in containment until we can identify. Dr. Rents is promptly cut off by Bad Sunburn CO05. Bullshit. I go and fight for your fucking association and can't even go and get a fucking drink without being quarantined? You can shove it right up my... Rejected. At this point, Dr. Rents uses his radio to call ADF to escort closed Uranus EP-03 and Bad Sunburn CO-05 to on-site containment. I mean, you are a fucking skeleton floating over my shoulder. This looks more like a JoJo reference than it does an anomaly. Soldier, if you keep agreeing with the damn doctor, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. Sorry, sir. Damn straight. ADF arrive and forcefully escort Bat Sunburn CO05 and closed Uranus EP03 to on-site containment. End log. Closing statement. Three weeks after the interview in question. Begon Thotufen was synthesized by Dr. Blight. The chemical composition of Begon Thotufen is 93% benzomethyloconine, cocaine, 5% methamphetamine, meth, and 2% of a substance Dr. Blight refuses to identify. Addendum. Alternatives to Begon Thotufen have been considered by Division 4 medical personnel after numerous reports of people prescribed Begon Thotufen vomiting rainbows and internal organs. The reason for this is currently unknown. Note, everyone reading this knows exactly what the reason is. Cut the shit. Value assessment. N.A. 